Hello everyone, imagine fixing up your videos with like just a couple words, no messing with clunky software or watching a million tutorials. It's straight up easy and fun. Check out Edito, this killer AI that's totally changing how we edit vids. You know how content's gotta be fast these days? It's powered by this huge dataset called Ditto 1 million. They crunched it on like 12,000 GPU days. So it nails big glow ups or tiny tweaks, no sweat. Wanna slap a cinematic vibe on your beach clip? Tweak the colors to match your mood? Or swap out that goofy prop without screwing up the flow? Just prompt it what you want and it will transfer the video. We are going to try out how to use it locally with Comfy UI. Okay. So when it comes to installing these models in your Comfy UI, there are two main ways to do it. First, I'm going to talk about the official Hugging Face repo. In this video, I'll show you how the Ditto models are officially implemented by their team. On their GitHub page, you'll find the Ditto Comfy UI workflow examples. You can access those right there. These are super simple, basic workflows that get the models up and running in Comfy UI locally. So once you download those JSON files and drag and drop them into your Comfy UI interface, they'll pop up as workflow diagrams just like this. Now there's one thing you'll need from this model. It's called the Ditto Global Comfy Safe Tensor file. This acts like the WAN video vase models. You'll connect that as the modular model file to the WAN video base model connections. As you can see here, this setup is using the WAN video wrapper, but you can also use Comfy UI's native nodes to connect everything. That's the alternative way. But for this demo, we're sticking with the official GitHub repo method first, so you don't get overwhelmed with too much info right out of the gate. We just want to get you started and running smoothly. For the LoRa models, it's using the CauseVid 14B LoRa, and I'm personally using the Rank 32V2 version of this LoRa model, which matches exactly what's shown in the GitHub repo for the Comfy UI workflow. It's the same LoRa model I'm using here too. I haven't changed any other settings except for the block swap. I don't need too much block swapping. By default, it's set to something like 38 or 35 block swaps, so I turned it down. The other thing here is the VAE loader. You'll obviously need to load your WAN 2.1 VAE. And for the text encoder, it's the same one we usually use. You do have to use the UMT 5XXL, whichever quantized size your computer can actually handle. Next up is the text prompt section. It includes a bunch of example prompts you can reference to see what this WAN video vase is capable of. I call this a fine-tuned version of the WAN video vase designed to create different video styles based on your original reference video. In the default example, it's set to make a pixel art video. And by default, it's set to 73 frames. A lot of people forget to set this frame cap, and sometimes they try to load long videos but don't actually process the full length because they haven't adjusted the frame limit to match how many frames their generation can handle. So, for this example, let's say I bump it up to 81 frames. I'm just following the default workflow settings here. Force rate 24, which is what the example uses. I'll leave it at that for now since I just want to run a quick test. Once all the video content, frame count, and audio source, if any, are sent to the sampler, you'll get your WAN video vase encoding. That's really the core of what you need for this kind of video editing. Now, as you can see, we're only inputting the input frames here. We don't need a reference image for styling because this Ditto model works purely through text editing. It restyles your video based on your prompt alone. There are tons of sample prompts included for you to play around with. Try them out and see what kind of video outputs you can get. Right here is the WAN video sampler, the last key piece you need. Of course, you've got to do sampling. The default values here are sampling steps, CFG 1.2, shift number 2, and honestly, you don't need a high shift number here because the input frames already provide strong guidance. You're just restyling the video, not generating from scratch. So I just stick with the default values from the workflow and give it a try. Once you've downloaded the models, load the WAN video vase module exactly as shown. You'll put it in your Comfy UI models, diffusion underscore models folder, same as usual. The default selected model in this workflow is the FP8 version. If you've got FP16 or another format you prefer, feel free to load that instead. In my case, I've got WAN 2.114, BFP8 loaded, and I've selected it right here. For attention mode, 
but you can switch to flash attention or whatever works best for your setup. Now, let's go back to the Ditto Global Comfy Model files on the official Hugging Face page. Under Files and Versions, you'll see two folders. We want the Models underscore Comfy folder. Inside, there are three types of model files. For most common tasks, like restyling your video using text prompts, you'll want the Ditto Global Comfy .safe tensors file. The other two are for specific use cases. You can see examples of those in the repo, but for general use, the Ditto Global version is totally fine. That's also what their official GitHub workflow examples use. So we'll download that one to test out. Once downloaded, you'll place it in the same diffusion underscore models folder where you keep your other AI models. For example, I've got a one underscore 2.1 subfolder inside my diffusion underscore models directory, right under the main comfy UI slash models folder. That's where I store all my WAN related model files. Back in Comfy UI, this is the WAN video vase module, connected the same way we usually connect WAN 2.1 vase using the module file on top of the text to video base model. If you've watched my previous videos, you've seen this setup before with WAN 2.1 vase. All right, we'll wait for the download to finish and then we'll run some examples. Okay. Now that we've downloaded the Ditto model and connected it to the WAN video base module, make sure you've also loaded the WAN 2.1 text to video model in the model loader as your base, then you're ready to run your video with text prompt editing. The first example says, make it a pixel art video. I've already tried that one, you can see the result below. It's a slow motion clip of a woman sitting or standing on the beach, and it successfully restyles elements of the video. Now. Let's try one from the official model page. There's a really cool example where a dancer turns into a witch with green magical energy and glowing green eyes. Let's give that fantasy transformation a shot with this lady. All we need to do is drop in the text prompt. Something like, a dark mysterious atmosphere with glowing green eyes, magical energy swirling around in a fantasy art style. Let's run that. We're processing 81 frames with block swapping. Right now, the AI is running. You can see it's on step 4, processing 81 frames in the lock, and it's using the WAN video sampler. One more thing I should mention. I haven't updated my WAN video wrapper, so if you already have a WAN video wrapper that supports WAN 2.1 base models and the base module connections, you should be good to go. This Ditto model is basically an add on a fine-tuned version of the WAN video vase, so it slots right in. Let's wait for the result. Using the same prompt but with a different video, this time, my own stock footage, here's what I got. Pretty cool. It keeps all the original motion from my reference video, but transforms the whole look into that fantasy style described in the prompt. Another example I made uses native nodes, and it actually works with native nodes too. If you're using the Comfy UI KJ nodes, you can use the model loader and connect the extra state dict directly. That's another way to load additional models. It's the same concept as the WAN video wrapper. In the wrapper, you use a model loader and connect an extra model loader to select add on models. For WAN video vase, there's even a dedicated extra models selector for vase add ons, so you can do the exact same thing with native nodes. Just use the diffusion model loader. KJ edition, connect a diffusion model selector, and plug in the Ditto Global Comfy model file as an extra model on top of your text to video base. It's the same model file I used in the native node workflow. I also enabled Torch Compile and WAN video block swapping to save memory, especially useful if you're on a low VRAM system or just want to be more efficient. For the model loader, I used the Power LoRa loader, which lets you stack multiple LoRas at once. And here's the cool part. Since this is a WAN 2.1 model, you can use all the LoRa's you've used before with WAN video, like CosVid LoRa, MovieGen LoRa, which I really like for enhancing video, or even the Video Detail Enhancer from the Fusion X Hugging Face repo. You can stack all of those on top. In this scenario, CosVid is used for sampling steps, just like in the example workflow. So I'm applying the exact same LoRa, the CosVid Text to V LoRa V2 model. The other two LoRa's I added are just my own experiments to test different effects and see how they impact video quality. 
Moving on, the text prompt setup is pretty standard, same as one video vase. I haven't changed any settings here. I just pulled this from my previous one video vase workflow. The only difference is the model. I probably should tweak the sampling steps, CFG or shift number, but you can follow the example workflow's recommendations. Four sampling steps, CFG 1.0, shift number two. That said, if you use a higher shift number, you'll get more dramatic changes in your output. For instance, I used the same prompt on a different video, this time someone using a laptop, and now it's a magical laptop with a glowing enchanted touchpad. It looks kind of funny, but that's what the reference video showed. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. As you can see, it smoothly converts and restyles the video just like that. Honestly, this makes style transfer way easier. If you want a quick, fast way to restyle your videos without needing a reference image, you can do it with just a text prompt. That's exactly what this model is designed for, transforming scenes into different video styles while preserving motion. And speaking of motion, you don't need control net or anything like that. Your source video itself acts as the motion controller. The same goes for the native WAN vase to video node. As you can see, I didn't connect any control masks or reference images, just the source video plugged into the control video input. That's the only thing I used. Let's try one more example. A bunch of different style transfers on the same video clip. This original footage is just a normal shot of someone jumping into a pool for a selfie. You can do so many different style transformations with this AI, and since it's based on vase and style creation, it works just like one video vase. And as you can see, it all works with native nodes. No custom nodes required, no updates needed. In the sampling group, all you need is the ditto comfy model file loaded on top of your text to video base model, and you're good to go. One other way to load this is as a LoRa model. If you check the one video wrapper hugging face repo, there's a LoRa folder called ditto, and it includes different model sizes. You can embed those as LoRa models and use them alongside one video vase. And that's it for this video, a super simple, easy way to restyle and transform any video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.